you know, I don't care who he slaps at the Oscars. This is still a good song, so <laughs> whatever. Okay. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Don't forget to bring your shades today because I got my pasty <laughs> biceps out. It's Eric back with Mom with another Headlocks and Reacts segment. We're uh, both a little worse for wear today, so we're going to try and keep up the energy for you. But as promised in our last video, which was uh, Signs by Snoop Dogg, we're going to be checking out what I'm calling summer jams. These are going to be summertime songs because it is the summertime. The beach is that way. That's why I got my string beans hanging out today. <laughs> so that will be our next string of songs. Now, some of these will be summer related. Some of them were going to be released in the summertime, but primarily these are going to be songs that like I mostly have like summer memories of. So if you hear one and you're like, oh, that's not really a summer song. Well, in this pea brain, it is a summer song, at least to me. So um, kicking things off, I, I don't want to predict because every time I think she's heard it before, I'm wrong. But uh, the first song that we are going to start with is DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince Summertime. Of course, we couldn't do this without this song. So right off the bat, have you heard of this song? Does that sound familiar at all? Obviously, I know you know who the Fresh Prince is. Yeah, in my head, I, I'm kind of singing it, I think. Probably. It might be the wrong one, but let's see. <laughs> it probably is not, but uh, this is from uh, one of his early 90s albums, the kind of uh, as he was transitioning more towards acting. But um, this is from 1992, the album Home Base. This was the first single um, he had. I, I don't know. It's kind of arguable that this was probably his most popular song during his time as the Fresh Prince. Obviously, he had some bigger ones as Will Smith after, like Men in Black oh, and yeah. Getting Jiggy with in Miami, all that. Nah, um, nah, but nah. before this, yeah. No, 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 no. I probably shouldn't do that. That's a little... <laughs> Urgh. People get paid good money to do that. But uh, <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. He, the other songs that were really popular for him as the Fresh Prince would have been uh, like Nightmare on My Street. And then, of course, the other big one was Parents Just Don't Understand. Yes. You would know that. I know. I had tapes of him definitely. when I was a kid. Like, he was definitely one of the first rappers that I liked. Uh, I remember vividly having the uh, single Boom Shake the Room on, on cassette. So, uh, yeah, that's how old I am. Which is funny because one of the comments in one of the videos, I think it was the 50 Cent Disco Inferno one, because I was talking about how, uh, like, the music video, there would have been, like, Girls and Thongs, and it was on this thing called BT Uncut. Somebody commented, uh, yeah, you should show her that, and you probably get grounded. It's like, how... How young do you think I am? Look at all this white hair in here. It don't work that way no more. But uh, anyways, into today's song. Again, this is DJ Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Summertime from 1992. Drums, please. If you know it, you're going to know it within like the first 30 seconds. Here it is, a groove slightly transformed Just a bit of a break from the norm Just a little something to break the monotony Of all that hardcore dance that has gotten to be a little bit out of control It's cool to dance, but what about a groove that soothes and moves romance? Give me a soft, subtle mix And if it ain't broke, then don't try to fix it and think of the summers of the past Adjust the face <laughs> and let the alpine blast Pop in my CD and let me run around And put like your car on CD. cruise and lay back Cause it's summertime there so obviously i think everybody saw but you definitely know this one I, this, do. I think this is the first one that we've done that you actually are like probably really familiar with or the most familiar with i would say but uh yeah we couldn't i couldn't skip out on this one it's too much of a classic summer song i think it's really interesting i never really noticed this before but he talked about popping in a cd and this was 90 was there cds in 1992 i don't know I don't recall. I would have only been seven years old at that I don't point. Know. There was eight tracks when I was a kid. 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> they weren't mine. I don't know. I always thought CDs was like maybe a couple of years later, at least mid '90s, but I could be wrong. Again, yeah, I was only possible. seven years old at that point. But and they um, were super expensive back then too, when they because they were just coming out with the yeah, technology. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember D DVDs were uh, kind of pricey when they first started coming out, and then yeah. it was like Blu-rays were more expensive, and now everything's digital. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares about any of that. But right. uh, anyways, obviously you've heard this one before, so what do you mm -hmm. think of this so far? You know, it's strange to see it with the actual words because really the only part I remember is the summer, summer time. Oh well, yeah, that's, <laughs> the, catchy, that's the catchy part. Yeah, yeah. I never really paid attention to the lyrics before. Well, it's, it's you know, typical Fresh Prince. Obviously, there's no cussing in there. He talks a little bit about... Uh, this was kind of at the time when rap was starting to go more towards gangster music because, yeah. like, N.W.A. had already hit. And he talked about it a little bit there, like, trying to, like... A soft, subtle mix, all that hardcore dance kind of stuff has gotten a little bit out of control. But this is just a, uh, no, I will not say it if you remember the early videos. This is just like a a groove, a good summer groove. Like, uh, you know, have the windows all the way down and have this one blaring in the summertime. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not going to say vibe. I, said I will it. never say vibe. I said it. Well, she can get away with it. I said <laughs> I, I was the one that said I would never say it. So uh, we'll keep uh, vibe into this one. And this is sort of a buzz. But back then I didn't really know what it was But now I see what happened is The way that people respond to summer madness The weather is hot and girls are dressing less And checking out the fellas to tell them who's best Riding around in your Jeep or your Benzos Or in your Nissan sitting on Lorenzo's Back in Philly we be out in the park know, A place called the Plateau is where everybody go Guys <laughs> out hunting and really girls doing likewise Honking at the honey in front of you with the light eyes she turn around to see what you beeping at. It's like the summer's a natural aphrodisiac. And with a pen and pad, I compose this rhyme to hit you and to get you equipped for the summertime. We'll hold off there. I noticed one thing I noticed about this is the summer, summer, summer. They did the like the chorus like three times after the first verse. But the other thing that I picked up on is something that I heard about like um, 50 Cent's music later on, where uh, the theory was that like some of his biggest hits were so big and so like catchy because he would start with the chorus instead of like just going into a verse like most rap songs. And this is another one where they started off with the chorus, and then he started going uh, into his verses. But, uh, I don't know, just something that I picked up on there. I don't know if you really got anything else to add. I think you, I think Mom's just kind of enjoying this one. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been on the court yet. Hustle to the mall to get me a short set. Yeah, I got on sneaks, but I need a new pair. Because basketball, of course, in the summer, got girls there. The temperature's about 88. Hop in the water plug, just for old time's sake. Break to your crib, change your clothes once more. Cause you're invited to a barbecue to start at four. Sitting with your friends, y'all reminisce about the days growing up and the first person you kiss. And as I think back, makes me wonder how the smell from a grill can spark off nostalgia. All the kids playing out front, little boys messing around with the girls playing double dutch. While the DJ spinning the tune you. as the old folks dance at your family reunion. Then six o'clock rolls around. You just finished wiping your car down. It's time to cruise, so you go to the summertime, hang out, it looks like a car show. Everybody come looking real fine. Fresh from the barbershop, a lobby in the beauty salon. Like that. Yeah. Every moment fronting and maxing. Chilling in the car, they spend all day waxing. Leaning to the side, but you can't speed through two miles an hour, so everybody sees you. Yep. There's an air of love and of happiness, and this is the Fresh Prince's new definition of summer madness. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, that was summertime. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Another thing that you don't really see anymore, uh, the DJ getting top billing on the rapper. It was always DJ Jazzy Jeff and the <clears throat> Fresh Prince. That's a really old school kind of rap thing. Yeah, that's because... what I was going to ask you. Why is his name on there? Is he doing the music? Well, the initial, like, the early stages of rap music and, like, hip-hop, they call rappers MCs because they were the master of ceremonies for the DJs. The DJ was the primary, mm. um, like, attraction for uh, hip-hop and rap shows, like, the very beginnings of it. Um, and then the Makes MCs, sense. it was more like a, um, like, here we go now, here we go now. And then it just kind of evolved into rhyming and, you know, rapping and just kept rolling that way um so yeah that's probably one of the last times you really will see that i know um uh like macklemore kind of gave his i guess producer or whatever some billing on his album too but it was not like dj jazzy jeff and the fresh prince the other thing about this too is this is um even though he's from philadelphia this definitely has more of like a uh like kind of like a west coast hip-hop feel which mm -hmm. makes it feel more kind of like summertime-ish i don't know did you know that he was from philadelphia i did i was say you should know from west philadelphia about it. i mean <laughs> come on everybody knows that <laughs> or they should know that apparently that's why i know him <laughs> yeah clearly <laughs> from the fresh prince well yeah. at first i was familiar with him i think from the tv show and then i kind of got introduced yeah, to his music just because i was so young at that point but uh anyways overall what did you think of this one i think i Two thumbs up. Yeah, I think that I knew that that was going to be the answer. I was pretty confident in that, even if you didn't know this one ahead of time. So, uh, yeah, even though she's heard this one before, like I said, we cut, we had to check this one off. If you're doing summer jams, you got to do Summertime by the Fresh Prince. And, uh, you know, I don't care who he slaps at the Oscars. This is still a good song, so <laughs> whatever. Apparently but, he was a thug back then. Yeah, that's, that's Will Smith <laughs> being gangster, I suppose. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so our summer songs will continue after this one. Mom really enjoyed it. Hopefully you did, too. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. There's no double thumbs up, so you can just do one. And, of course, if you aren't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. We will be uh, moving the clock forward for the next summer jams, but uh, nothing too modern because I'm old now. So uh, <laughs> these are going to be my young, uh, younger summer memory songs. And uh, if you want to find out what that is, make sure you come back for the next one. But until then, everybody have a good night, and we'll see you next time.